Hey guys, Tyrup here bringing you some more Warcraft 3 action. Name says pointing in the south, we have Happy playing as Undead, attack. going for the Death Knight first. And from the north we have Fly as Orc, going for the Farseer first. Map is Turtle Rock, and this one I think just from Nettie's, I mean no, not Nettie's, uh, going through Champion's Ladder. It's a good old fashioned ladder match. So headhunters here. Uh, relatively early graveyard down here for Happy, so early tick into a slightly slower fiend. Just creeping up the greens with these skeletons. Pretty smooth on this map. Fly going. The orange camp in the corner. I guess that acolyte that was over here died at some stage. Chased down by the wolf. So a little bit of extra experience for fly. A player's forces are under attack. Let's level up. Happy managing to wrangle a good number of skellies together to start this up. Goes for the item creep now disengaging. Impressive, you know, he's keeping those skellies alive on <laughs> red health. And getting some nice value out of them. Yeah, this is kind of a bit of a sticking point with this kind of feed and build. Can we slow getting your second ziggurat down? It slows down your production by a bit. Under attack. Can make things a little bit trickier around the creeping at this time. It's gonna go for the orange camp on the other side. Meanwhile, fly going to the shop camp. Gonna get that watch award. Didn't pull them uh, very far out though. Been feeling pretty safe that he wasn't going to get creep jacked. It's always nice to pull this camp out a little bit further as well because then you can put the ward closer to the center and get a bit more vision. It's alright. Second set of claws here for Happy, so that Lich, once he eventually gets it, going to be nice and stacked up with the damage. Oh wow, Fly, going for the red camp. And it's not a very big army, let's see how he gets on with it. A player's forces are under attack. Oh, this start. Doing a pretty good job against the Ogre Lord here. Oh, and wow, traps it, look at that. Wow, that was really well done by Fly. Blocks in that Ogre Lord. Easy creep after that. You notice, like, I don't think he propped the uh, shockwave that entire time from the creep. So all those headhunters nice and healthy here. Very impressive creeping technique on that camp. I don't think I've seen that before. The exact kind of like wall off so it can't run back. That was very, very well done. The medallion of courage. Decent item if he's going for the Torrent Chieftain, which he is. As well as a straight tick up to tier 3. He'll be picking up the Dark Ranger second, who's getting stacked up with the order, all the items. All the Valors. So a lot of attack damage. So both players kind of getting similar items there. Always getting a massive buff from the Aura item. Gonna pull away from the game. That. Tier 3 tick as well coming in for Happy, just getting a slaughterhouse up now as well as a couple extra ziggurats. He's going for the uh, shop camp. Meanwhile, Fly are taking away these camps from Happy's side of the map. And get those big consumables. Doing a lot of creeping, honestly. Usually we see a bit more harass. But the uh, Torrent Chieftain may be a tiny bit later coming through on this match. So... Didn't like solo creep up the TC. Do the harass with the fast here. Fast here. Not too far off level 5 now. TC getting a touch of experience there. Maybe he's also going to just continue on creeping. He's got some skellies running around. He's got a rough idea of where Fly is. 
Might have to town portal back here, no. A player's forces are under Just attack. gonna continue stealing creeps away from this side of the map. So a big old creep fest on this one. So we've got one more charge left on the rod of necromancy for Happy. Reveal, I guess that is from a, uh, yep, crystal ball. See, sees exactly where Happy is. Happy running back here. He's left a couple units in his base, maybe worried about getting creep jacked if they, or rally jacked attack. rather, if they run across. So Happy not in a position to fight at the moment without those reinforcements. So he's just going to continue creeping. He's not getting attacked at his base. And he can always town portal out to safety, so pretty comfortable at the moment. No expansions yet from Fly. Going for the uh, Tri Hero nice and early on. Let's have a Beastiary up. And uh, got one Raider out as well from that. One damage upgrade meanwhile. One, one, one actually on the Headhunters, okay. Nothing for the melee units. A player's forces are under attack. Okay, here we go. First real bit of fighting. Happy coming in. Venting the rest of this camp. Got the Lich coming in. He's got the orb, so this is a pretty good timing for Happy. Little power spike. He's still a tiny bit down on food, but not by a huge amount. Okay, stop coming in. Only really hitting the uh, Dark Rangers, taking quite a lot of focus fire. Coil low, keeps things safe. TC himself getting quite low, he's got the greater healing potion though, activating now. Put a focus fire onto the Death Knight out the back, he's staying at range. Back onto the Dark Ranger, and there goes the Shadow Hunter. Oh, monster stomp hitting almost the entire Undead army. Oh boy. Morphs the Destroyer. It looks like he might have missed on the Devour Magic. Still very, very tight in terms of food count between these two players. That's the last coil on the Death Knight though. That could be trouble. Only has the one statue at the moment for the regen. Fly just pinned at 50 food pretty much. He's happy to continue fighting. Sacrificial pick coming in, so we're gonna get some shades. A second ziggurat or another ziggurat so we can push up to 60 food. Reinforcements coming through now for happy as well. Gonna find that there's no creeps on this side though. This is one of the last big camps left on the map. This uh, turtle camp here as well. So overall the creeping pattern works out well for Fly, taking that extra bit of time creeping this out. Gives him a bit of extra experience as we uh, get into the pointy end of the match. The question is for Fly, does he try... Okay, well he's already answered that, he's just bumping up in production. A player's not going to try for like a 50 attack. foot tiny great hall defense. Over coil, taking down a couple of berserkers. It's going to be a town portal out. Statue going down. So a statue for two berserkers. Did have to spend the town portal as well. Not the best for Happy. And uh, yeah, still more experience for Fly. So maybe get the Shadowhunter close to level three. A player's forces are under attack. Happy just running straight across the map again. That Lich is stacked up, even got the Belt of Giant Strength buffing up its health a bit. More Vela still on the Dark Ranger though, make use of that agility. And here we go, early focus fire onto the TC. Silence, no stomps, focus fire onto the Death Knight, has to pop the Invol quite early on. TC coming through with the Invol himself, decent stomp. 
I hit the Death Knight though, because of his involved. Well, to keep the Dark Ranger safe for the moment. Pretty good dodge on the stomp again, but the Dark Ranger dropping too fast. Down she goes. He even brought the ghouls in, but man, they get blasted by the headhunters so quickly. Didn't really make much of an impact. And now having to disengage, happy down on food. Buyback with the Dark Ranger. Death Knight's still quite low on mana though, only got enough for one coil. On Nova as well. Really feeling the impact of not having that level 3 Lich. It's Nova's against the Berserkers that is not that impactful really. A player's forces are Quite interesting. Under no uh, fortified armor on these burrows. It's pumping all of it into army. Happy also staying in low upkeep. Thought he might try and maybe hang around at 50 for a while. No, he's just staying on the production. point. Hard to say who this favors more, honestly. Both teams having decent range damage. Well, managing to pick off one fiend there, thanks to the sneer. Fly's army does seem to be a touch stronger, though the food count doesn't really reflect that at the moment. Trying to force him into this really narrow point of the checkpoint. Choke point. Might allow not enough surface area for the TC. TC takes a science, takes a Nova coil. Or maybe just Nova, not the coil. So Hunter still with lots of mana, has the great amount of potion available also. So plenty of sustain left for Fly. He's going to pick off a destroy there. They got slightly out of position thanks to the ensnare. These raiders working overtime. Here he goes, coming in with the stomp. Move on to the TC. TC doesn't have any survivability items. He's kind of trapped out the back now at the moment. Focus fire now onto the far here. Might have to town portal. Here he goes. Can he do the turnaround kill on the TC? No, just going to focus now on the army. Didn't quite get that raider though. Fly, I have to concede this. A player's forces are under attack. Reach to this camp needs a little bit of time to heal up at the moment. It's coming back, but it's too late. So force plus nine, I believe. So that lich plus twenty four at the moment, along with a fast attack speed and then extra health. Very, very strong. It's one thing we haven't seen from Fly is his own Orb of Lightning. Could help, you know, maybe keep some of these units in place. Investing that more into units. Three one upgrades, by the way, on this. And here we go, Tiny Great Hall coming in. Happy with a slight food advantage. Fly investing a lot into this expansion here. Let's see if he can defend it long enough for it to pay dividends. Raider down early on. Big silence on the TC. The hunter's kind of getting a little bit out of position, but they were doing a lot of damage to these two destroyers. Pretty good stomp there after the silence wears off. But the headhunters are getting picked off. The Dark Ranger working nicely on them. A lot of skelly skellies getting produced. And it's not looking too good for Fly at the moment. Happy pulling ahead in terms of army size. Slight reposition. He's got a lot of statues on the ground. Coil on the fiend, so Happy feeling quite comfortable at the moment. Nearly 10 food ahead. One more potion on the T seat. And uh, now looking to disengage flight. Odo didn't get a meal. Empty belly. 
lot of damage onto the statues, but they're still alive, still can provide the sustain. And now Fly having to take a backward step here. He's getting that income though. And continue to bump out that army fast. Ooh, and that is a very well-timed hex. I guess maybe the destroyer's absorb was on cooldown. Now goes the Death Knight. That's exactly what Fly needed. Be staying in the fight though for the moment. Oh, could this be the end of the fast here now? Ooh, big Nova. And that's a lot of experience for these undead heroes. The Dark Range actually getting pretty close to five now. A little bit of unburrow burrow magic. Oh, if they're happy, still quite strong. Ten food down though at this stage. Buy back on the Death Knight though, that's where he's been saving his resources for. Last heal, Shadow Hunter out of mana now. TC coming in, looking for a big stomp. The Burrow kind of avoiding a lot of that damage. Buy back on the fast here now, could it be the dieback though? Uh oh, Shadow Hunter's in some trouble, pops the speed scroll, gets away on extremely low health. Back in now. Oh, no more mana. Big stomp. Dark Ranger in some trouble, so is the Torn Chieftain though. Transfers over the involved. Dark Ranger survives. Torn Chieftain briefly stopping, running away. Whew. Well, all of those undead heroes and orc heroes very low at the moment. But it's Happy that has the momentum. Still 10 food up. And now he's got the greater dark minions. These things are huge. Basically a footman. Very, very strong against these berserkers. Expansion going down here. And it looks like Fly is not going to be able to hold. So, you know, I thought it was looking grim for Happy once his Death Knight died, but what a turnaround, able to knock out the Farseer. And that caused some big issues for Fly. That's a massive investment. Buy back a level 6 hero from the tavern. And that really slowed him down a lot. Could have been, you know, close to 10 food worth of army buying that back. So, yeah, that was very, very painful. Close to even in terms of food. Unsummon the gold mine. Happy really looking to keep the pressure up here. Milk out every little bit of value he can. Going hunting, maybe he can find some like orange camps. Get a tiny bit more gold and an extra item or two. But they're not there. There's only one camp left. Looks like he's not going to go for it though, just maybe pick up a uh, invol potion, no, no invols, that's going to be a tough fight for Fly without an invol pot. Going to bring the peons in for the fight. I don't know how much of an asset they are really, are I mean, attack. kind of just cannon fodder for the skeletons. I suppose at the immediate start of the fight they are something. Bit of extra damage, bit of extra blocking. Can distract the auto attacks. No, actually he's gonna go for another expansion. Happy. Pushing up to around 60 food here. And fly, try to sneak in the expansion with the tiny great hall again. Out of gold. Let's see if he can work it. Happy. Sure it's gonna attack, so not gonna have much time to get gold out of this. Come on, here we go. Starting up the mining now. Stopping by the shop. Gonna pick up some heal scrolls, some invol pots maybe. Invol. No heal scroll. Here it comes, happy. Small food edge. 
Oh, but look, Fly got a lot in production at the moment, so it's even bigger in terms of units in the battle right now. Maybe taking a lot of damage to start things off. Science very strong on the TC again. Comes in with the Invol Potion. Monster Stomp! Dark Ranger in some trouble. The Hex on the Death Knight. Dark Ranger goes down. Well played so far by Fly. Oh, the Lich has to pop the Invol as well. The Hero Focus working well against Happy. And now the army of Fly is starting to get quite weak. Those Novas are hidden hard. Almost all of the Headhunters are dead. Oh boy, it's not looking good for Fly all of a sudden. He's got the uh, dust for the Burrowed Fiends. Uh-oh. But staying healthy, Death Knight's still loads of mana left. And Fly just has almost zero army at this stage. Oh, catches the Destroyer. That's the level up on the Torn Chieftain. Extra level of stomp, that's going to be pretty nice. Picking off another fiend. Destroyer actually in some trouble. Always no fiends left now for Happy, in fact. There we go! Well timed Hex again! And Happy throws in the towel. Wow. I thought Happy had him there, but what a great start to the fight. Able to pick off the Dark Ranger immediately. And that made such a big difference. He didn't have to battle against. Like half a dozen skeletons as a result of all of those headhunters dying. And that made a big difference. Fly able to close it out. Very impressive. You know, slightly better creep route. And then uh, stronger in the last fight. GG. Great game. Well, anyway, guys, a wrap on that. Thanks for tuning in to some more Warcraft reaction. Until next time, goodbye. And good luck.